Welcome to the Super Expander Podcast. My name is Corrine Phelps, your host. I'm a business and growth coach, money mindset expert, and a multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me all over from working in finance to owning a boutique fitness studio. I found myself burnt out, miserable and questioning everything, saying things to myself like, there's got to be more to life than this. Refusing to settle for a mediocre existence, I went all in, learning how to harness untapped potential and rewire the subconscious mind to create an extraordinary life. The last 10 years have been a crash course in self-love, building a business, creating community, building wealth, and doing what it takes to just freaking go for it. My mission is to help you align to your purpose, Rewire your subconscious to support your big dreams and vision and create a life that you're absolutely obsessed with. So sit back, tune in, and prepare to expand. Hello, hello, super expanders. Welcome back. How's your heart today? Yeah, see, this this question is sticking, right? I'm really digging it right now. Tell me how is your heart Today, you know, I've been walking with some some tough stuff these last weeks, months, and just been trying to be extra gentle with myself, extra patient with myself. And my wheels actually started turning about really trusting the process in your business as you're growing it and learning to really be patient with yourself, learning how to, how to practice patience when you're in a growing phase. It can feel so frustrating when you are showing up, putting every ounce of what you have into growing your business. And it feels like crickets or you're not getting the response or the confirmation that's equal to the amount of effort you're putting in. You put an offer out and no one signs up. Or you put, uh, you launch a program and, and only two people sign up. And what I can tell you is that we've all been there. <laughs> we've all been there because when you start doing something, it feels to you, it's like this disproportionate effort that you're putting in and, and no response, right? But it's like, nobody knows yet that you haven't created a solid foundation yet. And so oftentimes you you feel like everybody should know uh, about your program, about your launch, about your masterclass, about your product because of how much you think about it, how much you talk about it. And in reality, it's only, you know, been a few short months or even, uh, even a year. And you're, you're just not getting the, the traction yet because it takes time, contrary to what you see out there on social media, there the overnight successes that have been 10 years in the making, 20 years in the making. And what you're seeing is, you know, the, the momentum that's been created just in the last few months, but all of the failed attempts, all of the work, all of the, the times that nobody showed up so long before that people aren't sharing that. But what I want to, I want to plant a seed. I want you to start to explore this question of where can you start to practice patience? Extend yourself a little bit more love, a little bit more humility with yourself in the process of nurturing and growing your dreams? Where are you forcing rather than allowing the flow to come in? Where are you not trusting the process of your growth? I can just tell you that I know better than anyone about the forcing and the ramifications and the lack of results that comes from the forcing the burnout, the exhaustion, the frustration, the tears, the pain, the lost money, all of it. I once heard that, or someone said, I heard someone say that force creates pain and oftentimes destruction. But when we extend patience, when we extend humility and faith, the results are often miracles. So often in this process of creation and building a business, 
especially when you're doing it from the lens of the social media eye, it's really easy to get swept up in only wanting to do the flashy and sexy things. But especially in a season of growth, we have to be willing to do things for our dreams that aren't sexy, that are challenging, that sometimes are mundane. And you have to really be able to think of playing the long game, creating and placing habits and structures into your life and just showing up every day and rinse and repeat. And I mean, truly the thing about big, big results, lots of impact in a business, lots of income in a business, it is built on the habits of each and every single day. And it can be monotonous. It can be mundane. So as an entrepreneur, as a CEO, as a founder, you have to, you have to love what you're doing. You have to love getting in and doing that stuff. I have a question for you. Have you joined the super expander free mentorship community? If not, What are you waiting for? Stop what you're doing right now and text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. Text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. I send out weekly tips and inspiration to help you grow your business, to step into your wealthiest, most highest self, to harness your full potential and live an exceptional and extraordinary life. And the best part is it's really me sending those messages. So text me, say hello, and send me your questions. I wish someone had told me these things when I was in the early stages of business, that you have to really be able to show up each day kind of with a, with the lens of a beginner's mind, with the excitement, with the passion, with the ready to just dive in. Oftentimes that cycle just looks like learn and then apply, learn and then apply, learn and then apply, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. The other thing I I believe is so, so important in this is consistently and constantly staying connected to your purpose, being so crystal clear on it. It makes the other stuff feel a lot easier when you know what is driving you, when you know that you're showing up in service and that you're really, truly showing up in what you're meant to be bringing to this world. So I want you to kind of think on that, where and how can you start to show up more with a beginner's mind and how can you start to trust the process and fall in love with it as you are on this journey. So I hope you found this short little podcast, this short little episode useful. I'd love to hear from you what your thoughts were, what your takeaways were, Tag me on Instagram and share it with somebody you know who would benefit from hearing what we had to say here on the Super Expander today. I will catch you on the next episode. If you like what you heard, stop, drop, and leave a five-star review and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And as always, sharing is caring. So snap a pic and share this episode with another Super Expander. 